Hey, good morning. It's uh, Friday morning, September 25th. Thanks so much for being here. We're continuing to talk about the kingdom of God. And this morning, from Luke's gospel, I want to point out what is very clear in the passage, that the kingdom of God is the kingdom of the Holy Spirit. And since we've seen how the kingdom of God covers everything in life, like we looked at yesterday, whether you eat or drink, whatever you do, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus. Give everything to God in thanks. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly as you go throughout life doing about the things of the kingdom of God, his work. Well, the kingdom of God is the kingdom of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is one that makes all this possible. As we looked at earlier in the week, the Gospels introduce, at least the first three Gospels, introduce the public ministry of Jesus by referring to the work of the kingdom. Now, Luke 4 is a little bit different because the word kingdom isn't used, but the prophecy that Jesus reads from, from Isaiah 61, is all about the kingdom of God. Our translations say the spirit of God, and quoting that, but when you look at Luke 61, and it says the spirit of the sovereign Lord, the king, these are kingly activities. So let me read some from Luke 4 for you, beginning with uh, verse 14. Jesus returned to Galilee in the power of the Spirit, and news about him spread throughout the entire countryside. He taught in their synagogues, and everyone praised him. He went to Nazareth, which is his hometown, where he had been brought up, and on the Sabbath day he went into the synagogue, as was his custom. And he stood up to read. The scroll of the prophet Isaiah was handed to him, Unrolling it, he found the place where it is written, The Spirit of the Lord is on me. Therefore, he has anointed me to preach the good news to the poor. He sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and recovery of sight for the blind, to release the oppressed, to proclaim the year of God's favor. See, this is the true work of the kingdom. Jesus isn't simply talking about physical poverty and Physical, <clears throat> physical ailments. We are all in this camp of being needy and weak, just like the church at Laodicea. We are blind, we're naked, we're wretched, we're poor, apart from Christ. And this is the work of the king, the work of the kingdom that is being described for us here. Then he rolled up the scroll, gave it back to the attendant, and sat down. The eyes of everyone in the synagogue were fastened on him. And he said to them, Today, this scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. It's such a powerful passage of scripture. It describes the beginning of Jesus' ministry. And you notice that the Spirit of God is all through this. The kingdom of God is the ministry of the Spirit of God. We dare not restrict the work of the Holy Spirit to worship activities or emotional feelings or feeling of you know, the excitement of the Spirit. All those things are true. But if we restrict the Spirit to those, those spheres, we totally dampen everything he's about. We need the energy of the Spirit of God to carry us forward, just as he carried Jesus forward. Earlier in Luke 4, it records the temptations that Satan hurled at Christ. Vicious temptations, for sure. And every time, Jesus, by the power of the Spirit, says, it is written, it is written, it is written. The kingdom of God is about the Spirit of God. The kingdom of God is the kingdom of the Spirit. You cannot separate them. We have that blessed confidence, this wonderful truth that the Sovereign Lord, the Spirit of the Sovereign Lord, is there with us wherever we in, engage in kingdom work, which as we've seen this week, is all of life. All of life is the dominion of the Spirit of God because all of life is the dominion of the kingdom of God. 
So when you're discouraged this day, and we will be by the things that we face, remember, the Spirit of God is at work in the kingdom of God to bring about the glory of God. And that's the thought for this day. And we'll see you later today. Have a great day. Bye-bye.